When a child is diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a family is suddenly confronted with a bewildering maze of responsibilities. One of these is assembling a team of multidisciplinary healthcare providers. In addition to the neuromuscular specialist, you're going to need a cardiologist for heart issues, an orthopedist for bone and joint care, an endocrinologist for puberty, growth, and bone care. It can feel completely overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be. A toddler with Duchenne is not going to need a cardiologist when he's two years old. Duchenne muscular dystrophy progresses in stages. The child will likely show no signs of DMD before he can walk, and since newborn screening for DMD is not yet routine, he will not have been found to have an elevated CK at birth. It is in the early ambulatory stage when most three to four-year-old boys with DMD are diagnosed. Developmental delays, a floppiness of the muscles, or difficulty getting up off the floor and toe walking are the most likely causes for seeking a diagnosis. Sometimes elevated liver enzymes are also detected early. It is important for specialists receiving referrals for young boys with elevated liver enzymes or developmental delay to ask one important question. Has he had a CK? And for primary care clinicians to do the same, if there is a delay, do a CK. Boys with Duchenne have highly elevated blood levels of creatine kinase, or CK. This is a result of muscle breakdown, which is the pathological hallmark of DMD. Genetic testing will confirm the diagnosis. A family may be thinking about new kinds of therapeutics, like gene transfer therapy. But as exciting as gene transfer therapy sounds to overwhelmed families, a boy needs tests for cardiac and liver health and for immunologic sensitivity. If the boy is a candidate, he must be able to take higher doses of steroids daily for at least three months. Multidisciplinary care will be critical. Labs must be drawn weekly for at least three months to monitor cardiac and liver health and to look for immunologic reactions. And there are possible temporary side effects, vomiting and loss of appetite, as well as more serious issues such as liver injury and myocarditis. Gene therapy is a game-changing development and requires the committed support of a multidisciplinary team, patients with DMD, and their caregivers.